Do you find it irritating to build stairs on every hill just to get around? Or not having tall enough floodgates to build your enormous dam? In this video I'm going to show you mods for Timberborn that will solve these problems and more. All links will be in the description. Our first mod is Path Extension. What Path Extension uh, does is allow you to build tunnels everywhere, through the ground or through levees. So let me show you here. In our path and structure we have new tab tunnels. And here we have lots of different length of the tunnels. So you have to unlock with sounds points each of these. And you can see it goes from just going through a levee up to nine tunnel long. For example, here I decided to blow up this path just to create it. What I could have used is used something like seven by one like that, create it. And of course have stairs down here dang and like that connect to the road and continue all the way around and of course right down here let's go to the longest one like that and now i can create path here and all this area is unlocked if i want to create a lake here more food or forest one thing i don't like is how much science points it takes to unlock all of these they're way 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 too expensive these should be mid game to late game instead they are all late game and end game they cost way too much to unlock and that's not how it should be when you're late in the game and you want to create some enormous huge uh, dams rivers something to stop water or control water you're gonna hit the roadblock real quickly the in-game floodgates are quite tiny so the biggest one we have is three tall which is fine in the beginning but at the end of the game when you build something amazing you need something bigger and this is where extended floodgate mod comes in hand so in the landscaping and metal floodgates we can see metal gates all the way from too high up to 10 high enormous stuff they do cost quite a bit but I do think they are worth it if you're that late in the game. Up and down and use them work just like the regular floodgates, but they are enormous. And together with extended floodgates, there's a mod called Simple Floodgate Triggers, which allows you to automate your floodgates. So this is our UI for the new floodgates we built here. We have a basic and more advanced version. To be able to use advanced version, you need to build a stream gorge which is in the water and right down here you can build one right here for example and then attach it so now this floodgate is connected to this stream gauge and of course you have to <laughs> oh, this this shouldn't be like that but you have to connect each floodgate to be able to control them and now all of them are connected basic version allows you to set some automated stuff so how much you want them when the drought ends when the drought starts and all of these things and this is something you have to try out thinker with because each world uh, demands different different amount of water and it's really hard for me to set and to give you some recommendations so just play around see what works be careful of course uh, you don't want to destroy your world man do you guys remember when we built this thing this took a lot of time to build the whole energy transfer to our gravity batteries this took a lot of time and a lot of planks with mods you can do it so much easier we have vertical power shafts if i just simply remove all of this like that and now we go into our power and uh, we have these three four connectors shafts so if i simply go down here as you can see we have one going straight up one goes from the bottom to any side it's kind of like l shape then we have a t shape which goes as you can see up down and on one side which is what we're gonna use here so one of these we can use our regular one to connect them and then we go up and up and up and up like so and we go with an L shape, delete these two and connect them. Look how much simpler and nicer it looks and everything works as regular. It's really an amazing, simple, 
quality of life, quality of gaming improvements, which I would recommend if you like playing modded Timberball. And remember the stairs, there's a fix for that as well. So I have two solutions for that. One that looks really nice and one that's functional. So let's show me the functional one first. The functional one is called ladder, ladder mods. And the ladder mod allows you to just build ladder all the way up. So here it is under staircase and ladder. This is what it looks like. We can just build it on top of each other. Bam. Pet walk there. And this is what it looks like. Super simple, super useful. It does cost a decent amount of planks, but it's, it's much cheaper than building stairway all the way around. So definitely very useful. Now let me show you how to make this a lot prettier, if you are into that. So let's remove the stair or the ladder and go back to staircase. And we have two to choose from here. We have staircase left and staircase right. This is what it looks like. This is the left one and this is the right one. So they just go different directions. And here we can just build round and round. It looks prettier, but we need platforms here. That and then the platform by two and all the way around. So this is what it looks like. Kind of pretty. And this is what it looks like when the staircase are done. I wish we didn't have to build platforms because it kind of removes the magic from the staircase. But for simpler case like this, you can just add it, a mod that really fits in with the other staircase and all the other buildings. So it really looks fitting. If you want to see how we built this monstrosity, there's a link up here somewhere. Oops. Or there somewhere. I have no idea. And see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. If you have any questions, all the links will be in the description. 